and boom the 88 in the bank yes that's seven we're up seven grand yo what's happening fam it's a new day a good day and there's no better way to start your day than with a busy trade video i mean my, my video comes out around noon so no way to start your lunchtime break uh, than a busy trade video. But today I have an interesting combination of strategies for you guys. I've got some indicators that I think are gonna, you know, that have not been put together before, or maybe they have been, but I've not really seen anyone on YouTube put this together before. So we've got the marker, RSI, and moving average, EMA. Uh, so it's gonna be a really interesting video. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys everything from how I set it up to uh, the trades. So before I jump into the video, shameless plug, I have a free Telegram channel that you guys can join. Please, please join because there's a lot of people I really, really want to help. And I don't want to be looking through the uh, comments and people are like, oh, I don't know. I can find it's in the pinned comment or in the description. Like you don't have to write in the comments like, hey, where can I find this? It's, it's right there. So without further ado, let's get right into the video and you can see how to make money. So right before we get started, I'm gonna set up some of my trades, starting with the timing. You know, I like to do one minute trades. First started with $512. You know, not too bad, but I'm hoping we're gonna be able to double, triple this money. So yeah, change our candles to 10 seconds so we can see updates in the market in real time and it can help us make faster, quicker decisions. So I'm gonna start with moving average. I'm going to switch SMA to EMA and I think I'm gonna add the marker as well. Very popular indicator, but I think many people don't use them in the combination that I use today. Just gonna do some color setting on that and I'm gonna add RSI. Yes, RSI, a very popular, very, very popular um, indicator in the market everyone uses it but i think a lot of people don't even know why they're using it i think a lot of people just add it and they're like okay i got lucky in one trade so that might work so as you can see we have our indicators in place and so let me just tweak a moving average a little bit that's great um so now let's go ahead and add our currency pairs just gonna add some things with the highest pay payouts um sorry but one of the things that you have to keep in mind while you're choosing payouts is that you have to use everything to your advantage. So if you're reading on the news and you see that some currency might be having problems, that's a chance for you to make money, okay? So you always have to stay alert, make sure that you're in on everything and make sure that you at least are doing something before you go into your trading table. You feel me? You have to you know, you have to be knowledgeable or not only technical analysis isn't going to help you make money. You also have to do stuff outside of that. So before we jump into the first trade, I'll just give you a quick rundown on the strategy and how I feel that this is going to work. So why I've chosen these three uh, indicators is because I think that moving average is the first one that I chose. And I think it's a great indicator for identifying the trends in the market. If you're looking to see if the trend is gonna be down, upwards, downwards, this is the best indicator that you can use. If you, uh, and me combining this with the marker, it's because the marker helps you to identify reversals. So, you know, sometimes you be trading and you see like, oh, everything is going okay. You're, you either call or you put, and you're like, okay, I'm 10 seconds away from winning. And then you see, boom, a reversal. And you're like, okay, I lost out of that trade. The marker is a great indicator that's gonna help you curb that. So you're gonna be able to see that before it happens and you'll be able to place your bets, your trades uh, accordingly. And the last, the RSI. RSI, we all know, it uh, shows the market's momentum. So in the combination of these three, you know, we got the trend, we got the momentum, and we can easily see if we're going to get reversal or not. This is going to be, this is a great strategy. So wait, and let's go into our first trade right now. So let's dive right in and start trading. We're going to call uh, on this currency pair of Australian dollars against the Japanese yen. 
Uh, the reason I've done this is I quickly noticed that the moving average uh, showed an uptrend and RSI indicated that the market was in overbought territory. So I decided that this is a great chance to, to place a call option. And if all the indicators are pointing the right way, we can see that it's clearly overbought. So this is an easy trade to make. I need a change in my life because I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. So in a couple of seconds, we're going to see if we make it. And boom, that's easy. $993 in our account. That's a great way to start, but we can't stop there. So we got to move on to the next trade right away and see if we can, you know, get some more money out of this. This time I'm gonna call also, just like the last trade, but this time I'm going with the currency pair USD dollars against the Brazilian lira. And this is an easy decision also because we can show, see moving average is showing us our uptrend. The market is indicating that the market was overbought. So I think that we're gonna just ride with the buyers and try to make a profit on this um so i'll get back to you in a second and we'll see what we get exactly with this trade i need a change in my life because i don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy oh. all right so i think we're a couple of seconds away from seeing if we're gonna be taking this home i think we just took that home easily 988 in the bank we're up uh, almost a thousand five hundred but we can't stop here. Two successful trades so far. Let's keep the train moving. Let's keep it going. Let's move on to a third. I think that we're going to put option on this trade. And as you can see, not only is the market showing us that the market has been oversold, we can also see that uh, uh, we can also see that a moving average indicator is showing us a downward trend, and we can see this is not like a, a situation where two different indicators are showing us that it's a downward trend. You do not want to overlook that or make a decision against that. This is definitely going to be downwards uh, in any situation. So let's see if this trade closes in our favor in a couple of seconds and while 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 we're waiting for this to happen I, I want everyone to always keep in mind that you know sometimes you will have situations where you doubt yourself on on trades and boom that's a thousand nine forty five we're up 2k well uh, back to what I was trying to say like you always have to keep your trading psychology up on you like you're gonna have doubts and you have to make decisions quickly but always remember like you can't change the past so once you make a decision you need to roll with it okay there's no like hey i wish i could go back no and don't try to chase losses okay it's just like anyone says whenever you're chasing losses you're even losing more money so don't do that but we're three for three on this trades right now we have three trades so far and all of them have been successful so let's move on to the fourth and see if we can you know take our money a little bit above i don't know maybe 5k maybe less but hey stay tuned so just looking immediately i will you know increase my trace to about a thousand and i'm just gonna call on this I mean, it's as simple as I said before. I'm just following the, the, the trends that are being showed by the indicator. And I don't even have to do much technical analysis or draw lines, you know, fancy lines to show you. I think this is a no-brainer call. Um, as you can see, the movie average is showing an uptrend. Uh, and RSI is indicating that the market has been overbought. And so we're in overbought territory. So... 
you can see there's just people buying and buying we're seeing a little bit of selling right there but i think it's just like very minimal and you can see people buying more and more so this should be uh an easy trade for us to win i i don't doubt it at all we're way way above my call so this should we should get the reply to this any second from now let's see we're way above so it's like we're there's not even we even double that see we're up three thousand we just make three thousand seven hundred from that trade we're up four grand uh, i'm a little skeptical should i stop now should i keep going uh mm, 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 mm. okay fuck it let's go one more trade and let's see how we can do i hope i don't lose though i really do so easy i quickly sniped and i see that this is going to be a downward uh, trend easily you can easily see immediately moving average is showing us a downward trend and if you look at the rsi we can see that everything is oversold we can see a uh, trend of selling right here selling 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 and so i think that okay so i'm four trades in it's a little bit risky but I think the other video that I made, uh, I also did the same thing. But I think I kind of got lucky on that trade. I think it was like the fourth trade. I think I entered it a little bit later. So entry points are very important. So you have to be kind of like a sniper. So you can get in and just snipe and get in, put in your trade and you can make money. And this looks like it's going to be an easy win for us. Uh, I think we're going to close this trade in our favor. Uh, we're about, I think, a second away. Yes, that's seven. We're up seven grand. Seven thousand dollars. I think that that's as much as I'm going to risk for today. Uh, I think that it's been a pretty, pretty successful trading session. Can't wait to do it with you guys again. Yo, so as you guys have seen, um, we're able to get profitable trades today. I mean, it's not something that happens very often where we go five for five and we don't even miss a single trade. I mean, we didn't even lose one when we like tripled or quadrupled on our trade. So another thing I want to keep you guys in mind, what you guys have to keep in mind whenever you're trading is your trading psychology. I mean... You could read books, you could do all of that things to strengthen your mind because it's very important. They so you go with your guts, you have a feeling, you feel it's gonna happen that way, you definitely have to go that way. I mean, you don't wanna worry about anything else. Another thing is that I'm very grateful for you all for watching this video till the end. I know it's difficult, but thank you for spending the time with me. And before I go, I would just like to plug my free Telegram channel. Come join a community. We're growing little by little, so you can come join us. Let's make some money together. Peace, I'm out. Peace.